And it's going to take a lot more than moms doing lemonade stands and people shaving their heads to raise the funds that we need to do research to further treatment so that our kids don't go through such harsh treatments to live a healthy life. September's Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. It's a time to recognize and support the children and families fighting this devastating disease. 25 News reporter Jerome Baker is on this. And Jerome, how many kids does this affect? Yeah, good morning, Joey. Around 300,000 kids in the world are diagnosed with cancer every year. More than 15,000 here in the U.S. Now, I spoke with a family in Waco about their journey and how love and support helped their youngest child survive. When someone you love gets diagnosed with cancer, it's heartbreaking, especially when it's your child. It was very devastating. Um, we were um, at the hospital here in Waco, and the emergency room doctor came in and said, your son has cancer. Marla Zikafus's youngest child, Gunner, was diagnosed with leukemia in 2014. He was only seven years old. I never wanted him to see me scared because I knew if I could stay strong for him, then he would be strong fighting. Pediatric cancer is exceptionally rare. One in 285 or so children will be diagnosed with cancer by the time they're 20. Gunnar went through several years with cycles of daily chemotherapy and relapsed multiple times. It was very difficult when I got the call from the doctor saying, hey, it's back, and I really was afraid. You know, how am I going to tell him this and how will he take it? Despite constant trips to hospitals, being pulled out of school for his health and all the pain. His response was, I've beat it two times before. I'm going to do it again. Let's do this. Thanks to the support of his family, community and several others along his journey. Now, 15 year old Gunner is back in school and doing just fine. After transplant and to know that his bone marrow had, had engraft and that he was healthy and to see the the pride on his face knowing that he accomplished what we had set out to do was just amazing. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The Zikafus family says it's a time to support those families in need, learn more about the forms of pediatric cancer and test your children to detect it early. When you're dealing with cancer, it's very physical, but it's also mental, too. You know, you have to stay positive. You have to hope for a better day. The family says even though the road ahead is tough and scary, together we can beat cancer. Now, the Sick of family hopes that this story inspires more to get the help they need and also more to support cancer. Now, common sides of cancer in children are unusual lumps, swelling, limping, and frequent headaches and vomiting. Leukemia is the most common form of cancer among children.